It's 11 bucks. And it's pretty nice. Anyway, I'm here to sound like a broken record. Today I went to a uh, museum uh, with my kids, and there there was a huge touch screen, which of course immediately I slid my finger down the side to look for one of those uh, Windows keyboards. Did not pop out. Good with that. Um, then I checked, you know, put my finger all around the edges because lots of times if you just lots of times there's hidden menus if you tap corners of touch screens. Nothing came up with that. Uh, then my son came over and he just started <laughs> just touching the screen all over and I was clicking on buttons and all of a sudden, you know, it started to zoom in just like you were to pinch to zoom because he was pushing his fingers one way, I was pushing my fingers the other. And we were doing that a little bit and boom, the kiosk program crashed. And we actually just had a white screen and I wasn't sure at first, um, but my son just kept tapping on the screen and uh, I don't remember exactly what happened. I think eventually we saw a menu pop up. Yeah, menu popped up. It's, uh, and, then, and then a thing dropped down from the top saying add desktop. So I clicked add desktop and again we were at a, for a second I saw the Windows toolbar at the bottom. Uh, but then we were at a desktop and I was trying to click the corner to get that Windows uh, start menu to pop up. Uh, but eventually, um, like, we somehow, again, just clicking on parts of the screen, got into the Windows, con uh, uh, whatever you call it, the control panel. Uh, and my son just started clicking all the different buttons, turning things on and off. Um, and the start menu, the toolbar, came up in the bottom. And... Um, I was trying to click the start button, nothing was happening, and there was a Chrome icon, and my son kept tapping that, kept tapping that, nothing was happening. All of a sudden, all these Chrome windows popped up, so the thing was just running slow, and it was connected to the internet, and of course, we were there with a school group, and other kids came over, and uh, they got the uh, start menu going, and they got Minecraft uh, going, and uh, and there was nothing in particular we did. Just It was just me and my son touching the screen at the same time, crashed the kiosk program, which might happen. But again, this brings me back to my ongoing, and I know I've done many, many videos saying this, and it's probably getting old, but, but people keep doing it. And it's, it's messed up because these are people, these are kiosks that someone paid to have put up. So that means that there are professionals out there who do this. Again, there was absolutely no reason, even if you're running Windows, it doesn't matter what operating system you're running, there's no reason they'd be having a full desktop environment running when all you're doing is having a kiosk application running. The, the, the desktop should be completely disabled. Your display, uh, whatever you would call it, um, uh, your, your, uh, you don't need a desktop environment, maybe a window manager, uh, depending on your kiosk application. And again, I don't know about current versions of Windows, but uh, back with Windows XP, you go into, um, and I know it can be done with current versions of Windows, I just don't know if it's the same way, but you'd be able to go into the registry, find where Explorer, not Internet Explorer, but Explorer, your desktop environment starts up, and swap that out, swap that one little line in the database to whatever application you want, and that would be your new desktop. And that's how kiosks should run. There is absolutely no reason because that thing had full internet access and anything could have been done on it. Luckily, it's not a kiosk. It wasn't anything that people are going to be entering information on. It was a uh, like a display with um, information about stuff in the museum. Uh, and, I mean, we didn't break anything. You just had to restart the computer. But... Uh, I don't know what else is on that network. I didn't, you know, I didn't go any further than, you know, I, I, I was basically watching my my three-year-old son click on the screen and getting things going, which is uh, pathetic. I mean, great for my son, but pathetic for the people who set up this kiosk. And um, and yeah, you know, this is this was, you know, like a, a kids type museum. Kind of, it was a uh, a place. It was a science museum, so it wasn't just for kids, but it was geared towards kids. But uh, they obviously paid somebody to do a job, and they did it poorly. Uh, so again, this is just like, you know, a public service message. If you are in, you know, some sort of IT where you set up kiosks, because you know there are people who do this for a living, and obviously with the number of kiosks I've come across where I'm able to crash the kiosk program and get a full desktop environment uh, when it happens that is usually connected to a network, who knows what else is on that network. Again, it could have been connected to the registers up front where you pay to get in. Who knows? Uh, these people should not have the jobs they have. If you're one of them, yeah, I'm sorry. You, you should learn how to do your job better.
Um, I did get a short little, like, I was, one little still shot, and I did, like, a little three-second animated uh, GIF or GIF of my son trying him, and, and he was trying to get the um, Chrome... Uh, web search, he kept clicking the microphone and talking to the thing, but I don't think there's any microphone on the kiosk application, so it just kept on telling him that it couldn't hear him, uh, but it was pretty funny. Uh, so, yeah. The one thing I didn't see in this kiosk was uh, was there was no on-screen keyboard, because some of the kids were trying to do a Google search after we were walking away, and no keyboard was coming up, and that's when they got the start menu going, and they clicked on uh, uh, Minecraft. Um, so, anyway, again... Uh, this is an ongoing theme on my channel because it's an ongoing theme in my life in that everywhere I go, I come across these kiosks that are available to the public. Some of them that take, you know, credit card information and other payments and some that are a little less vulnerable for the, the end user there. But it's just sad how often... Just, it's just... I just don't know what to say. <laughs> it just shows how poor. The fact, you know, again, uh, the issue I'm talking about isn't a Windows thing, but the fact that someone would use a Windows machine for a kiosk like this because there's absolutely no reason because you're running one piece of software that is specifically written for this kiosk, which means there's absolutely no reason to, it should be able to run on any platform, so you're paying Windows licensing fees, um, and you're going to have to eventually pay for upgrades in the future where, you know, you throw it on a, a Linux machine uh, in there and you just upgrade forever. And, uh, and uh, it's just people in, in areas working. And I know people like this. I have friends, acquaintances who do stuff like this for a living. They, they set up registers and other stuff, and they are completely clueless. And you try to talk common sense to them, and they just know... I think I've mentioned in the past about a buddy of mine, and I've known him for years. He owned a computer um, company of some sort that I think he sold but still worked for, and they set up registers in, in like, uh, golf uh, um, resorts and stuff like that. And he couldn't use Linux on those because he wouldn't know if he could get the register to uh, print uh, receipts was his <laughs> response, which is like, if you can't get a printer working, especially a register, uh, you know, receipt printer, which is probably just connected through some sort of serial output. Uh, I mean, the operating system has nothing to do with that, but uh, we had an argument with him once about licensing. He didn't understand why open source software had licenses. And I'm like, what do you mean the license decides what you do? Well, no, he, to him, he's like, He's like, no, the license is, is the, the little number on the bottom of the computer that you type in when you set up the computer. I'm like, no, that's the license key. It's not the license. The license tells you what you can and cannot do with the software, and there's different types of like But he was completely clueless to all this, yet his job was picking and installing software for companies. But he, doesn't, he didn't understand how a software license worked and why you know, open source software and free software had them. He's like, well, it's free and one can use it, so why, why have a license? It's like, well, because it's, it's not public domain. <laughs> it's, but just whoosh, over his head. And again, that's what he does for a living. So, anyway, this is just me ranting while laying in a hammock. I'm supposed to be relaxing. But um, it's a nice evening. About to go back inside and help my wife put the kids uh, down for bed. And I just wanted to uh, record this little video while I was thinking about it. So, if you uh, aren't getting tired of me complaining about vulnerable kiosks in the public, I do talk about other things and do other videos on my channel. But uh, I do thank you for watching this one and putting up with me. And I hope that you do subscribe, like, share, comment. If you know somebody who is in the business, or maybe if you're in the business of setting up kiosks, no desktop environments, I don't care if it's an Apple computer or a Windows computer. I mean, I care. You shouldn't, shouldn't be using those things in, in a kiosk. You know, there's, there's no excuse for that. But regardless of what operating system you're running, disable the desktop. You don't even need to have one installed. You know, I mean, on Windows, I don't think you can uninstall. I mean, I guess theoretically you can go delete files. But there, there's, you know, you get your X server on Windows or whatever you, you know, and you call it on like a, your whatever operating system you're using. And you run your one application 
No desktop environment for a kiosk. That's just vulnerabilities waiting to happen. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Links in the description, Patreon, and all that stuff. Bye.